what every network marketer should know. Another door slams, after an hour and a half of yelling, some of you are growing weary of trying to convince someone you love that the problem they are having with you is their problem. However, if you sit quietly and truly think about what is it about you that annoys them, they will be right and you will be wrong. This scenario is what seems to happen in the end with multi-level marketing businesses. Someone brings you into a slam-bam thank you mom relationship and when you call them out on it, they want to silently argue with you by simply not being available or answering you with useful information. Eventually you fall, because no one wanted to be in a long-term, committed relationship with you they just wanted to take from you. You have now found an opportunity that makes you a mentor, and you don't want to be taken advantage of or take advantage of others. In order to do this, you must make a note to yourself that you are in the business for a long-lasting relationship, and if you are not, then find another business such as direct marketing. With direct marketing, making a profit is your number one priority. The following tips will assist you with analyzing yourself and communicating with your affiliate or members of your team. Feel free to utilize these tips in other areas of your life. 1. The most important quality a mentor must have is to be a good listener. When someone comes to you with a desire, a concern, an idea, don't start talking about yourself and what you would or would not do, instead interview them. Find out how did they come up with the idea, what is his or her concern, or where did their desire come from. A mentor, teacher, coach and counselor are one in the same. They are supposed to be servants to society, available to help those in need. They are not to criticize, humiliate, belittle or talk down. Don't sell your affiliates on products, rather allow them to open their heart to you, later you provide the help, not the other way around. 2. Be people-friendly. Learn how to relate to people from all walks of life on their level. Ask questions about their hopes, dreams, family and reasons why they would like to work with your organization. Tell them to post their why for joining the business somewhere in their home that they can see every day. If they can't do this simple task, this is a clear indication they are simply not ready to be taught, move on, don't grab them by both hands and plead for them to stay. 3. Don't let money be your driving motivation for being a mentor. Yes, you need the money, but that is your reward for helping others be successful. Change your thinking while you're mentoring, tell yourself, I will be available to someone today not I am going to make $100 today, or I am going to recruit three people. 4. Tell the affiliate the truth about yourself, why you do what you do. Share your experiences with the business. If there were obstacles, how did you overcome? How are you making money, and what are you doing with the money you obtain, reinvesting it back into the business? Saving money for your children's education. Buying a new house. Helping grandma. Tithing. 5. Be sure the person you are mentoring understands every facet of the business. Many people don't ask questions or the right ones, put yourself in their shoes. Write down all the questions you would have asked about the business when you first joined and have comprehensive answers. Sometimes it is better to forewarn the one you are mentoring of the complications or confusions others may have had with the business, and if they run into similar problems, remind them that you are available to assist them. 6. When you notice a problem with the organization, or your affiliate questions things that appear to be shady, address it with leaders. Don't find excuses to cover problems up when talking to your affiliates. Let them know you are concerned and have spoken to leadership about it. Follow up with leadership to find out if anything has been done about the concern and notify your team about the changes. Praise your affiliate for making you aware. 7. Surround yourself with positive people that support what you are doing and encourage your team to do the same. Tell them who they choose to speak to about their goals will make a positive or negative difference in how they view the business. 
Some people will appear to support them, while others will find excuses not to. 8. When your team comes to you seeming as if they do not want to be a part of the business, although they are successful at it, be concerned and ask, more like remind them of why they joined. Refer to the note that they were supposed to have posted somewhere in their home listing why they felt they needed to join. 9. Some affiliates may talk about how lucky another person is and mention they wish they were more like Jane Doe or John Smith, ask he or she, how are you managing to get to know more people? It isn't how lucky a person may be, it is how many people, places and or things he or she may be involved in to bring them that so-called luck. For instance, if a person who hits a million dollar lottery played only once and won, we could consider that a supernatural miracle, but what if someone else won for a few million, chances are they have been playing for years all sorts of lotteries spending thousands. The wider you extend your network, the better your results. Luck isn't random. 10. The last tip defines the various personality types you are mentoring. If they are very much into their family and friends, then they are caring and you will have no problem explaining to them why it's so important to build a relationship with people in network marketing. However, if you find that the person you are mentoring isn't really buying into relating with people and more concerned with making sales, you may want to remind them of the pros and cons of having that kind of attitude. Then there is the detailed oriented person who asks many questions. Answer them with clear statements and provide illustrations. You will need to remind them often to get started, because at times thinkers can overthink and get nothing done. As for the fun people, they are open to anything, you just have to stay interesting and keep them going by allowing them to be creative, however, you will have to tell them about the rules in the business, because if you don't they may get you and the whole team in trouble.